In today's video, we are going to talk about Ubuntu versus Pop OS. Well, Ubuntu is one of those Linux distribution that is liked by majority of the Linux distribution users. On the other hand, Pop OS is relatively new in the market as it got released in 2017 and it was developed by System76. So a lot of people have a concern that what is the better one between these two because Pop OS is also made upon Ubuntu. So let's see which one is the better one and what does this Linux distribution has to offer us. First of all, I'll start with the user interface. Well, as you can see, we have some of the applications that are docked on the left side of our screen. We have Mozilla Firefox, we have Thunderbird Mail, and we have some of other major applications like we have Ubuntu software here as well. And then on the top right corner, we have some of the utilities like volume, we can have our power option, we can do our network settings as well. And in the middle of our top bar, we have our time and date and we'll have all the system notifications in here as well. And in terms of desktop background, this is the theme of Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. You can have your own one here in as well and it also allows you to change it from the system itself. Now I'll talk about the desktop environment of my Ubuntu 22.04. Well, Ubuntu uses Genome desktop environment by default. Yes, there are some other flavors available in terms of having desktop environment like we have Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Xubuntu, but for that you have to download a separate ISO file and only then you will be able to enjoy other desktop environment in your Ubuntu. As you can see here, we have Genome version 42.0 as a desktop environment in our Ubuntu 22.04. I'll just close this one. After the desktop environment, let's talk about the bloatware or you can say default applications in this Ubuntu. So if I just click on show applications button, well here we have those applications that are necessary. For example, in terms of our documents, we have LibreOffice. For our browser, we have Mozilla Firefox. For mailing, we have Thunderbird Mail. And we have many other applications as well. Not only that, if you go to your Ubuntu software, I will just open this one. From here, you can download and install a lot of applications for your Ubuntu. As it supports Snap repository, and the package manager is apt that is why you will be able to download and install a lot of applications and the good news is steam is also supported for your ubuntu it means if you are into gaming you can download the steam engine and you can play different games i will just close this one now so as we have seen the default application now there is one more concern and that is how much resources this ubuntu uses because we have to make sure that our Linux distribution is not heavy onto hardware resources. So that is why I'll open my terminal and in my terminal, I'll use a utility known as top. So I will just write here top, hit enter. While at the moment, my Ubuntu is using around 1300 megabyte of my RAM. Well, this is not an optimal one, but I would say it is not as heavy on my hardware as well. I would say it is average in terms of hardware usage. Down here, we have all the resources and percentage of resources that are being used by each process at the moment. I will just close this one. And now I'll talk about hardware requirements that are needed to install Ubuntu into your machines. Well, it is recommended to have two gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of hard disk space in order to install it. But for smoother experience, it is recommended to have four gigabytes of RAM. At the end, I'll talk about the support of Ubuntu. Well, for Ubuntu, we have two forums, Ask Ubuntu and Ubuntu forums. It means if you get into any problem, you will have a solution at your hand on both of these forums, as both of these forums are very matured and the community is very strong. And that was all about the Ubuntu. And now I'll shift to my Pop OS and let's talk about it. And let's see what do we have in there. This is how Pop OS looks like. Well, again, I'll start with the interface. We have some of the utilities just like Ubuntu at the top right corner, like we have power option, network options, and we have volume. In the middle, we have time and date, and then we have applications and workspaces options on the top left corner. 
if you just click on this one it will open all the workspaces that are available into your pop os at the moment i am only using one that is why i have two of them if i go with the second one and if i open anything in this one i will have third one in here as well let me open my files in here and now if i click on my workspaces here you can see i have three workspaces in ubuntu we also have this phenomena but we do not get a workspaces button i will just get out of this now now i'll talk about the desktop environment well as pop os is based on ubuntu it also uses the gnome desktop environment by default let me go to the settings of my pop os and now i'll show you the gnome desktop environment well from here if you go to your about section here you can see it says gnome version 40.4 but in ubuntu it was using gnome version 42 but one thing is common and that is both of these Linux distributions are using Genome desktop environment by default. Now I'll talk about the Blotware or you can say the default application. And if I just click on applications button, well, these are the applications that are here by default. Mozilla Firefox is the default web browser. Then we have LibreOffice that we can use for our documentations. And then we have many other applications that we can use. Well, if we compare it with Ubuntu, we have more of the applications in here. And not only that, we get categories of all these applications as well. For example, if you just click on Office, you will have all the applications related to your office. Then in terms of system, you will have all the utilities that you can get. And then in terms of utilities, you will have all the applications that are available and come by default into your pop os and in case if you want to create your own folder or own directory you can do so now i'll just get out of this and now let's see how and which applications we can download and install into our pop os so this is the pop shop or you can say this is the software center of pop os well here you can download and install a lot of applications for free for example we have atom we have slack telegram desktop and many more and good thing is steam is supported for pop os as well and one thing is very advantageous in pop os and that is pop os comes in two version in one version you get the simple pop os and with the second one you get nvidia support by default so if you have nvidia card into your machine you can download the pop os with nvidia and you will have smoother experience and you will enjoy more games and again, we have some of the categories that we can go with and we can use to download different applications and softwares. So that was all about the pop shop. And now I'll talk about the resource usage of my pop OS. So for that, I'll open my terminal. And again, in my terminal, I'll use a command as top, which is basically a utility. If I just hit enter now, well, at the moment, it is using around 1100 megabyte of my RAM. It is not as heavy, but at the same time, it is not as less. It is between the average. So I would say that Ubuntu and Pop OS are almost same in terms of hardware resource usage. And here we have the detail about how much resources are being used by each process. So as we have seen the resource usage, and now I'll talk about the hardware requirements that you will require in order to install Pop OS onto your machine. Well, the minimum is 2 gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of hard disk space. And just like Ubuntu, it is recommended to have 4 gigabytes of RAM in order to have better experience for your Pop OS. At the end, I will talk about the forums or you can say the community for Pop OS. Well, Pop Planet is the default community that is official from Pop OS. You can find the solutions of your problem in there. Not only that, as Pop OS is based on Ubuntu, you can also apply the solutions of Ubuntu onto your Pop OS and more than 90% of those solutions will be applicable onto your Pop OS. At the end, if I were to conclude, I would say that Pop OS is a much better option if you are looking for a Linux distribution which is modern and customizable operating system. And Pop OS also uses the Flatpak package manager. On the other hand, Ubuntu uses Snap apps which uses more space. So Pop OS has an advantage in here. Other than that, Pop OS comes with a modified version of Genome and it also has a separate ISO files for NVIDIA and AMD Intel based system. So that is why I would say Pop OS is better than Ubuntu. Other than that, both of have same desktop environment. Both are based on Debian and both of them are pretty easy and user friendly. So it's all up to you that with which one you want to go. 
and that brings us to the end of today's video i'll see you in the next one till then take care